Hey guys, um, I had to take a shorter walk because I had to put a little bit of ice on my knee because of my fall a couple of days ago. I scratched up my I scratched up and banged up my knees pretty bad, especially my you know my left one. I totally messed it up, so I'm resting. But I really wanted to talk to you about was like something that's about my MS. For those that don't know, I have MS, multiple sclerosis, and I've had it for a little over 10, close to 12 years now. Um, as soon as I was diagnosed, I immediately started doing research on the disease. And of course, I delved into it, as most people do when they find out they have something. They want to know everything about it. They tend to, you know, just fall right into it, which is what I did. I researched, I printed out everything, I read about it, I joined various groups to find out, you know, what it involves, what it takes, and I came on, like, social networks like Facebook and Twitter, and I found groups there, too. And lately for this, I and I also joined a group, uh, just a regular generic group, online group. They give out information and I totally appreciate it and I've posted it, but not everything, but they've posted too. And I just wanted to reassure you guys, whatever I tend to post is more for information because people don't know about the disease. It's a very quiet disease. I mean, People say MS, they're like, oh, and it's an invisible disease in the sense that anybody and everybody can have it and it doesn't really appear to everybody the same way and it affects people differently. You know, some diseases are visible in the sense that the treatment involves hair loss, um, thinning and um, weight loss or weakness but in the case of MS you know depending on which type you have you look fine hello <laughs> I have MS people wouldn't really know I had it and a lot of people with MS out there that you may know of or know, you wouldn't know they have it because it develops late in their lives in the sense of like their late 20s or if they were born with it, they've learned to live with it or even later. I have a friend who has a mom who has it and she got it later. But anyway. I just wanted to reassure you guys that based on all the stuff that you read out there and the postings and descriptions, because a lot of people that have MS post about it because, you know, it's been a while. It's taken a long time to get an identification on it and respect about it because it's not even like it's the highlight disease. It's just because the information is finally getting out there and it's a little bit more important than people think so if you see posts throughout especially I've seen a lot in Facebook associate MS associations MS clubs MS groups they're posting a lot and they're explaining what's going on especially around this time of year the cold weather is good for people with MS but also some people it could be bad or like if I took a fall you never know you never know but also it explains what happens and what people with MS are kind of like whereas it explains our imbalance ton sometimes our forgetfulness like I'm sure you guys have seen me talk to you and sometimes I'll just forget the proper word 
where I'll pause in between something because I'm mid-thought and I lost the thought that was normally is in my head. And that's the thing that's that's frustrating to me. Like sometimes you'll see me frustrated because there's a thought in my head and it goes just like that, that it never would before. And it's hard because I know it's not me and it's not me getting older. It's because I got something in my brain blocking bits of my memory. I don't want people scared for me or of me. I'm just explaining what goes on to people like me. And I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. During the holidays, we're fine. Um, heat, it sort of wears us down and weakens us. So when it's colder outside or cooler in areas that we hang out in, we like that because it lets our body properly adjust. Whereas my mom, who is diabetic and is freezing all the time, the heat, well, she's learned that, you know, you can't have it both ways because it will mess with my body. Because one second I'll be fine and the next second, uh, and you guys have seen me. I've shown you what I've had when I've had a relapse. I wanted to show you, I wanted to st let you know how it was important that you guys got to see because this is me minus relapse. But just how strong this disease can be for anybody. Because one second, you know, I'm like, yeah, next day, eh, I'll see you guys later. All right. I'm fine. I'm always rubbing my head. Because there's always a phantom itch somewhere. <sighs> anyway, the holiday seasons are fine. Um, we just take it easy, like everybody else. Uh, I'm really kind of done with what to say. I just wanted to get that out to you guys. It was important. Because I didn't want you guys to think, oh, she fell... What's going to happen next? I'm going to eventually heal. I just am frustrated because I can't walk around as much as I used to because of the fall. This is more the fall than the MS. But it takes a long time to heal. A little bit sometimes. A little bit sometimes. Well, sometimes. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Sometimes it takes a lot of time. That's what I mean. Anyway. Enough babbling. I'm going to look and see if there's a bad movie, because, like I said, they exist somewhere. Dad and I went out yesterday, and he we stopped at like this rest stop, because he had to go to the bathroom, and we found some really crappy movies that I'm sure he'll want to talk about. He'll bring up somehow. But if I don't, if we don't, I'll have saved you. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night.